Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here. So today, update 44 came out. So let's just go through and talk about the release notes. And bear with me on my voice a little bit. I've been, uh, past day or two, I've been pretty sick. So, uh, but anyways, update 44. Keep on the Borderlands came out. So that's a, their, DDO's next classic module. At least a lot of these, and this is the, the next one. This one's a little bit different because this is a lower, like a low level adventure in pen and paper so they're doing the same thing in ddo so the quests for this are actually going to be levels one and i believe levels 20 like it's low epic so i think it's level 21 epic yeah 21 and 22 epic but let's just go ahead and go through these release notes so keep on the borderlands of special note ddo debuts its newest classic pack with the release of keep on the borderlands it includes eight new dungeons a new adventure area which is a pretty uh, really pretty big deal uh if you haven't really followed DDO, historically, uh, in, in the past like five, six years, seven years, really since what, Menace of the Underdark, they haven't released adventure areas unless they are in expansions. So this is an exception to that. This, this Keep on the Borderlands does have an adventure area, so that's and it's not an expansion. So that's awesome. Uh, there's a new public space, new name loot, of course, with every update, and mounts, which I've done a video on mounts already, which you can check out, but we'll talk, talk about them a little bit a little bit more here. So, okay, Keep on the Borderlands is free to VIPs and Season Pass holders and is available in the DDO store as well. Uh, the quests, again, are levels 1 and 2 heroic, 21, 22 epic, and the quest giver area is in uh, Cregan. The name of the NPC is Cregan, and he is in the either in either in the Hall of Heroes or in the Grotto near Corthos, right in the starter area. So this is a basically it's going to serve as an alternate starter area. So if you're TRing and you don't want to run through Corthos for the ten thousandth time, you can now run Keep on the Borderlands. So that's pretty cool. There hasn't I, I don't think there's any other level one uh, quest in the game other than Corthos. There might be one in the harbor that I'm not remembering, but I think level one is just... Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty positive level one is only Corthos, so that changes that. Okay, so they're also releasing Keep on the Borderlands bonus items, which really they don't need to be called Keep on the Borderlands bonus items. They're just extra store items. Like They don't tie into the... Some of the things in, in this list of items you can get in the in uh, Keep on, on the Borderlands, but... By no means is it like directly tied to it. So let's just read this description. In addition to the Keep on the Borderlands Adventure Pack, a collection of bonus items is available for Update 44. Find them in the Adventure Pack's low-level section, blah, 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 blah. This bonus item pack can be purchased separately, whether you already own the pack or are VIP. So whether you, that's what I was saying. It's not directly tied to Keep on the Borderlands. You can still buy this or it's just a separate purchase. Uh, but basically, it, I'm not going to read all this, but it lists everything that's in that in here. Really, what you're going to want from here is there's a bag which holds mounts called a small wondrous mount bag. And there's also a steed of the Borderlands, which is a fast mount. There are two types of mounts as of now in DDO, a uh, kind of your standard mounts and then what they call fast mounts. Fast mounts obviously are faster. So if you buy this, this um, bonus item thing, you can get the fast mount immediately and a way a better way to store them so that's the main appeal there's some other things in here such as a helm like low level gear and stuff but i don't think people really care about that what you're going to care about is the fast mount in the bag <clears throat> okay so you get these for each yeah to each of your characters on your account if you buy it but you may or may not want to buy that there are ways which we'll talk about in a minute to get the fast mount uh, through gameplay so you can earn it in keep of the borderlands as well as a the, a standard mount and we'll go ahead and talk about that here so mounts so the the bonus item is just kind of if you want to just fast track it and just buy it and just get the stuff whether than rather than earn it in the game but it does have this the mount storage bag which uh is as far as it goes right now that's the only way to get it they'll probably offer it separately uh, apart from the uh the bonus items in the future sort of like they did with other bonus item bundles they've done in the past so i would that's something i would definitely expect but it'll probably stay exclusive to that bundle for a little while because they want people to buy it but anyways mounts so mounts for player characters have been added to ddo mounts can be summoned via items kept in your character's inventories while mounted 
The player character's movement speed is replaced with the movement speed of the mount. VIP bonus still applies while mounted. Mounts may, may be used in public areas and wilderness adventure areas, so they can't be used in quests. And again, we talked about I talked about a lot of the stuff in the the mount video I did about a, what a week or two ago. Characters may not engage in combat while mounted, and being damaged while mounted has a chance to mount the, to dismount the character. Mounts come in two varieties: normal, which moves at 180% of base character run speed, and fast, which moves at 200% base character run speed. Characters may dismount. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay. So here's the ways you can get access to a mount, other than just buying it through the bonus items bundle. So you can farm something called Qual Feather Tokens, which is only in the Keep of the Borderlands Adventure Pack. And you can exchange those for a one of four different variations of normal speed mounts. So the, I, as far as I know right now, horses are the only mount out. So there are probably four different colors of horses, if I had to guess. And then you can take these normal speed horses and farm some other stuff called enchanted horseshoes, which are in, uh, which are in also in Keep on the Borderlands. Uh, it says there are rare drop in the chest of the epic variant of Keep on the Borderlands, so you can then farm those and upgrade your normal mount to a fast mount. So that's kind of cool. I mean, that's the way it should be in DDO. You can buy the stuff from the store, or you can earn it in game. Unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no way to earn the mount storage bag which is unfortunate but uh you can at least earn the mounts in game the, the the best mounts in the game you can earn in the game i don't know how hard of a grind it is we'll, we'll see that as we get into the pack and i haven't played it yet it just came out today probably not be able to play it till tomorrow maybe maybe tonight we'll see um okay so you can also get fast mounts through gold through uh gambling on the <laughs> gold daily dice roll uh get at least 96 uh, let's see, the Keeping the Borderlands bonus items bundle includes the fast mount Steed of the Borderlands, which will be delivered to every character on the account of, pair of the character who purchased the bundle. So we already talked about that. All right, so that's the main core of the update. Okay, next in the release notes, they just they list basically a bunch of small changes. Nothing here is too noteworthy, I don't think, uh, but definitely read through this yourself. I'm not going to go through all this. But uh, a lot of this is just bug fixes and little changes, nothing too huge. A lot of quest fixes, class fixes, spell fixes. Okay, so here's another big change. So the character sheet, they updated it. There is a new plus side tab off the stats tab of the character sheet menu that displays the following statistics. And look at all this. I'm not going to read it all, but as you can see on the screen, there is a plethora of stuff available, which is awesome because... The character sheet didn't tell you like most of this stuff. Like now, you can just look at the character sheet, and it tells you your incorporality, concealment, your saves versus each individual uh, like type here, your elemental defenses. It goes into a lot more depth than it did before, where it basically just told you what like cold, fire, force, uh, electric, but now it tells you chaos, negative resistance, all this stuff, movement speed multiplier. Your spell, more spell casting info, fortification bypass, like all this stuff is so awesome. I love this change. One handed, two handed speed bonus. This is awesome. So now, when something like you're going to be able to know if you don't have, if you have a gap in your, in your, basically a gap in your item set, it's going to be a lot easier to see. I mean, players are going to be able to see a lot more easily if there's a bug that they can feed back to the devs about. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that's going to be really useful, especially when, when building and gearing your character. So that is just awesome. Like, it's so awesome in so many ways, but it's just so much more transparent. So definitely check that out, and I might do a video uh, a little later in the week, possibly, kind of going through that and showing it. Maybe depends if I think there's enough. If I think there's enough to say. So, right here is a lot more UI fixes here, but th that was really the big thing I wanted to highlight. So yeah, guys, uh, that that's really the big thing with this update. So we got a new, uh, a new classic module, uh, low level quests. I think some players might be a little disappointed because it is lower level stuff, both in epics and heroic. So there's no, you know, there's no new in game stuff. Although we did just get another. Uh, a, like a few uh, new a new adventure pack for Sharn that was in Sharn which is in game so that's good but yeah this one is more you know this is more early game stuff 
So it's not in-game stuff. It's just leveling content. But it is new content, so that's good. So, yeah, whether it's worth it to you to buy or not, it's going to be up to you. I'm sure there's a lot of pen and paper players who've been, who have played this there who probably want to experience it again. And if you TR, you know, you may want to buy it just to run new stuff. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think about this update. If you liked it, you didn't like it. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Have a good one and take care. Mm -hmm.